Yeah, good morning. So today's topic will be tax attributes and elements. So every web page is made up of uh, multiple elements. So right from uh, the, the root element, that's called HTML. Then we have head, which is also an element. Then we have body and all these make up, you know, elements. So then what is the difference between an element and a tag? So when I say a tag, we mention the start as well as end tag. Fine. For example, if you take up HTML, it starts with HTML within angle brackets. Then it ends with again a slash HTML within angle bracket. So the start and end tag, they are called tags actually. The start tag and end tag. Okay, the one which starts with HTML is called start tag. Then one which ends with the slash that's called end tag. So for every you know element, the same rule, the same rule is applicable. Fine. Now, uh, so when I take element, there are so many elements. Now we can say the head element. Then we have body. Then within head we have title. Okay, there are so many elements are there, and the every element is made up of a start and end tag. But in HTML, it is not compulsory to have a start and end tag. But it's a good convention that we have a start and end tag, right? So we, we talked about what is an element. So there are a lot of examples. So H1, H, H1 to H6, there are also elements. So then we have, you know, P, which is a paragraph. Then we have, you know, UL, LI, all are, you know, elements, which we will be seeing in our demonstration also. Now, the uh, as I told you, the difference between tags and elements is tags, they start and end. They are called, you know, tax. But collectively, they are called as elements. Collectively, they are called as an element. For example, HTML start tag and end tag. Collectively, it's called an HTML element. That's it. Okay. So attribute. So what is an attribute? See, every element can have certain qualities. See, for example, if you take uh, a, a element or anchor text element, it will have an attribute called href. Okay, hypertext reference, that's called href. Then if you take an IMG, image uh, element, then it will have yeah, an attribute called SRC. SRC, ALT, they are all attributes. Now SRC refers to source. So when you say image, the image has to be okay, shown somewhere. So the, the source has to come from somewhere, whether the image comes from the you know, root server or it is from the local system. So the source okay, represents here from where that image comes from. Okay, that's called you know uh, SRC. So these are all you know attributes. So apart from you know these kind of attributes, okay, other attributes like you know class, ID, they are also called attributes for every element. Okay, but it differs from one element to another element. Then if you take up uh, HTML5 semantic elements, uh, they are you know like uh, HTML is keep on evolving. Okay, like, you know, uh, new elements are getting added. So like that, you know, we can have a, uh, you know, main element. Okay, then we can have a, a header, footer, section, aside. So these are all the, you know, uh, elements, okay, which convey some meaning. For example, if I say I can have a P. So P may contain, the content of the P element may have anything. Okay, it may describe uh, a, a scenario. It may describe a particular uh, products, you know, descriptions. But when I say uh, article, article is HTML5, okay, semantic element. So that uh, conveys a meaning that the content of this particular element represents an article about something. Okay, so semantic elements or HTML5 elements, they are purely for conveying certain clear message to the browser that this particular element has some content, okay, which conveys a meaning. Fine. So that is called, you know, HTML5 semantic elements. Uh, then if you take up elements, you know, there are a lot of examples as I told you. Okay, HTML is a root. See, basically it's called, uh, you know, DOM. Okay, document object model. That will be a root uh, element that's called HTML element. Then uh, inside which we can have children. So head is, uh, okay, one of the child. Then title is a child of head. Okay, then within head we can have multiple elements like, you know, meta. Okay. Uh, then we can have link, okay. Then we can have a script. So these are the children of head, right? Then within body, okay, we can have so many HTML5 elements or you know conventional elements like you know P, 
like you know uh, uh, now now is basically html5 elements now refers to navigation path okay it's an html5 element apart from that we can have div div is basically representing division okay so these are all examples for some of the elements then you can just see an example of an element see look at this uh, here it starts with the opening tag okay, look at this so opening tag h1 this is called a tag and this is called a closing tag okay so these are called tags but collectively it's called an element it's called an element and this is the content welcome to html this is the content so what will be shown in your browser is actually the content only content only so you can see here this is an h1 element then this is a paragraph element that's called p so within an angle bracket i can have a start tag then slash p that denotes end tag and this is the content of the paragraph okay so what will be shown in your browser okay canvas will be the content fine then block level elements so when i say element there are two kinds of uh, elements block level elements and inline elements so when i take block level elements okay it starts from the beginning and it takes up the complete okay space which is available to you till the end okay that's called block level element okay that means every uh, every element in it takes up the complete space of okay for example if you take h1 it takes the complete screen space till end till end even though the content may be small but the element itself it takes the complete space of the screen of screen means you know any screen maybe it's a you know um, a laptop screen or a mobile screen whatever it is it completely occupies and every element you know uh, it starts from a new line suppose if i say h1 then i have a paragraph element then the h1 takes up the complete space then the paragraph it can always start at the next you know line actually next line means you know, below that h1 element below that h1 element fine so that means what the block level elements okay they don't allow other element other elements to sit near to them adjacent to them okay they completely occupy the space okay i can show you with the demonstration later on see these are all you know block level elements h1 to h6 of course you know this is called an heading elements okay where depending on the you know uh, heading context you can decide whether to go for h1 or h2 h6 whatever it is then we can have p p denotes paragraph div okay div is an element in which describes the division okay that means normally div can contain multiple okay elements together so it's for grouping multiple elements okay under one div okay div represents division then form okay form is basically you see every web app you know will have web forms where you know we can have a login form we can have you know contact form anything okay then ul and ol okay ul is nothing but you know unordered list then ol is nothing but an ordered list they are all you know block level elements that means what every element okay starts fresh okay below the previous element that means uh, even if you describe in your uh, web design an element just next to the previous element it always starts okay uh, fresh at a new line that i can show with the demonstration by i think words cannot uh, you know convey you the meaning okay please wait then inline elements so when i say inline elements they okay they occupy space next to each other that means you know uh, how much our space they need only that which they occupy okay for example i can have multiple span elements um, within the same line and you know span elements they sit next to each other okay and img img is also uh, yeah an inline element then a anchor text okay basically it's anchor element that's also an inline element okay but when i say block level element and uh, you know inline elements these elements can be converted from you know one uh, element to another element that means an inline element can be converted to block level element or a block can be converted to inline element and there is one more thing called yeah an inline element can be converted into inline block element also okay it can be displayed as inline block level element also okay we will see in demonstration then attributes so i told you about attributes i think we already discussed about you know slightly we discussed about attributes so src is an attribute width height so for image i can have width and height as attributes then style style see style is basically it's an attribute okay which uh, shows that a particular uh, element okay uh, can have what kind of style it, it is for example uh, that's called css style css style okay that we will see with the demonstration then comments see normally html code okay it starts with the angle bracket 
exclamation double hyphen then your html code is here then the comment section closes with again double hyphen then closing angle bracket so anything okay within see this these two things okay so look at this within this and this will become a comment so that you know that html code will not be visible in your browser okay fine so we will have a shortcut how to comment and comment everything in our practical session okay then i think we discussed html5 semantic tags okay in fact you know a div is not a semantic tag okay article is a semantic tag okay then uh, see the difference i wanted to show you the difference actually when you said div with some paragraphs it does not convey some meaning okay it, it can be anything like the, the division may contain any kind of paragraph but when i say an article and within which i have two paragraphs then this particular element says okay what i have inside they are with, re with respect to one particular article okay these two paragraphs are with respect to one particular article actually the article may be about you know uh, a newspaper article or whatever it is a blog article whatever it is fine then html5 more examples okay there will be a main okay element okay which describes the main content of your page and it will be unique to that page actually okay that's called main so there can be only one okay main uh, you know uh, element and that will be unique to your page okay maybe it describes a company's you know uh, qualities or your products description whatever it is okay then section okay section uh, multiple that can be multiple sections inside a particular web page okay maybe uh, see a section describes blog list or contact information whatever it is okay that's called section the article article will be about in a blog post okay then aside aside normally it refers to a similar content see i have a description about uh, a content but i would like to give what are the similar okay content to this content which is described that's called aside so aside you know it just uh, stands just near to your or very similar to what the content which is described here okay then we can have header footer okay header will be on top of your you know uh, displayable page and footer will be at the bottom so footer may contain you know the copyright information everything that's called footer so these are all some of the examples of semantic file elements okay then we can have list unordered list ordered list then see ordered list and unordered list may have okay li elements okay li are nothing but you know uh, list items and the list items may contain again you know an anchor uh, see a, a a element okay and uh, within li we can have multiple a elements then table so table describes okay a structure where you know we can have uh, a column title okay then we can describe items inside the column so it's like in a table structure okay which will have multiple columns and for example you see student roll number student name okay then we can have a branch id then uh, mobile number so all these things okay they can be uh, the column id column headings they are called column headings then the students you know the information they make up the row actually row up, row actually for example number 1 rakesh then what is this okay uh, branch id okay then what is mobile number so all these make up rakesh then we can have okay uh, riya so what is her branch id whatever it is so all these you know they make up the table data so tab there will be two tags called only one is called th another is called td okay th refers to table head td refers to table data okay so all these things okay we will be viewing in our or seeing in our hands on session using vs code visual studio code okay so we will we will be learning about how to create okay web page with lot of elements how, how can we add you know attributes everything will be learning in our hands on session okay fine so we'll be looking at this hands on session shortly thank you